Welcome to this video series on creating a North American style building uh, that is built using uh, stick frame walls. So in this series, we will be using the Canada US master data and the settings that go along with that. If you do not have this, you can get this from your local SEMA rep and we can provide you the most up-to-date version of both of these. Everything you see here will use maybe possibly an older version, possibly the current version of the master data and the settings. Uh, I also want to mention that lots of places around the world build in a very similar style. So England, Scandinavia, Australia, New Zealand, um, etc. But the, the units of measurements that we're using today is imperial, so we're using feet and inches. So feel free to follow along if you're in these other parts of the world. But keep in mind that um, you'll be using metric, which things will look a bit different than what I'm showing you here. The other thing I want to say before we get started is we will be following the most common workflow that we see which is working from a CAD file, from a DWG, from an architect. So the architectural design is already done. We will bring that in in form of a 2D CAD file and trace over that. And we will produce uh, wall panel chop drawings from this. The other thing that we see is to draw from PDFs, which we don't recommend doing as much as DWG because it's just much slower and there's way more possibility of making a mistake. So we really recommend that people try to get a DWG or DXF or some sort of CAD file from their architect or builder or client or whoever you're working for and working from that. The next best thing, even better than working from a CAD file would be to work from an IFC. This is a 3D model you get from the architect and that makes things even quicker, even easier. Um, but that will probably be done in a separate video. So today we're just focusing on the workflow from a CAD file. And if you're using the default Canada US settings, I'm panning around the screen by holding down the scroll wheel on the mouse and moving. I'm zooming in and out by scrolling in and out using the scroll wheel in 3D view. I'm rotating around by holding Alt and holding the scroll wheel and moving around. And I'm panning the same as 2D by just holding the scroll wheel and moving. The project that we'll be working on is a pretty standard single family dwelling in Pennsylvania that we have been given permission to use this in the video. So I'll bring it over to the screen. So these are the plans from the architect that we'll be working from. So pretty standard single home dwelling. And we'll just be doing the walls in this series. I don't have engineering or header sizes, so I'll kind of be making that up as we go along. But uh, if you have some structural design or some a truss design to work off for this information, then even better. The last thing I wanted to say is there's many different ways and different order of operations for a few things that I talk about. What I'll be showing you is my preference that I've learned uh, over the years of doing this. I think it's a great place to start. So I recommend starting by doing the same thing I'm doing. And then of course, over time, you'll learn your own personal preferences and add or take away what you do or don't need. So thanks for joining and we'll continue on.